No bullshit weekly update. Before we hop into this one, I am trying a new style where I'm gonna do the weekly update before it comes out. So it's not gonna show the actual discounted price, but our first vehicle on sale is the Dinka RT3000 which is 30% off going for $900,000. And while the Honda S2K is a really cool car, in GTA, sadly, it kind of sucks. I'm not personally a big fan of it. Customization is a little bit weird, but it's discounted, so if you're interested, now would be the time to grab one. The Imponte Ruiner ZZ8 is also 30% off, going for $924,000 down from 1.32 mil. Visually, it's a cool car, and that's kind of all it has going for it, so if you want to grab one, now is still the time because it's on sale. The Dinka Segoy is going to be 50% off, meaning it's roughly going to be $450,000 if you have the trade price unlocked. Otherwise, it'll be 600,000. The Dubachi 770 is on sale for $417,000 down from 700K. And this is a really cool car in my opinion. I think the stock wheels look beautiful. It's just got a beautiful body shape. And the 770 is part of the removed vehicles, which is a shame because it's such a cool car. It used to be one of the better sports cars and is still just nice as a free mode driver and is cheap. So I would highly recommend picking one up. The Ocelot Lynx is also going to be on sale going for roughly $1 million down from 1.7 mil. And the Lynx is a really nice car. It sounds really good. It looks really clean. It's got a little bit of a fragile back end, but overall I think the Lynx is a nice car and is worth a garage slot if you have the funds to spare this week. This is a big week for catching up if there are facilities you don't own as biker clubhouses, bunkers, nightclubs, and executive offices are all 40% off including their upgrades. Definitely capitalize on that if you guys are looking to either upgrade yours, buy for the first time, move locations. That is a huge bonus that Rockstar is giving us right now. Our money making this week is a little bit different than normal. The one normal thing being two times money in RP for the Asta La Vista adversary mode. But aside from that, there's gonna be two times production speed on biker businesses, bunker stock, nightclub goods, as well as special cargo crates from the warehouse. So that is something really nice to take advantage of in free mode, especially considering the Caprico heist has been nerfed, which is really, really sad. Payouts have been reduced. I don't know by how much. All I know is that they've been nerfed, which kind of makes sense considering Caprico is such a good way to make money. Your Simeon vehicles for this week are the Benefactor Felser, the Dinka Segoy, which is gonna be on sale, the Ruiner ZZ8, which is also on sale, the Panaud La Corius, and the Tundra Panther. Your, <laughs> your luxury autos this week are gonna be the Ocelot Lynx and the Dinka RT3000, both of which are on sale. Your podium vehicle for this week is the Maibatsu Penumbra FF. Definitely worth a garage slot as it has a lot of cool customization. Your prize ride this week is the Ubermont Sentinel Classic, which you can get by placing top five for two days in a row. I'm not personally a fan, but I think that is an unpopular opinion. So I guess go for it since it's a pretty easy challenge. Your test track vehicles at the LS Carmi are going to be the Bravado Banshee, the Rapid GT, I know this is an exemplar, it's, it's basically the same car, as well as the beautiful Dubachi 770. So that, my friends, is gonna wrap it up for this week in GTA. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below, and let me know what you think about this week and what you think about this format if you prefer that I upload this on Thursdays as opposed to Wednesdays later in the day. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. We'll be covering weekly updates as they come out, and that's about it. So, take care and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!